My life is like a poem. It starts off with a good idea wrapped in a catchy hook. It contains a couple of rhymed lines cloaked by unmistakable misunderstandings and always ends with a new dream in a half-smiling verse. This could be the classic mix-up of metaphorical lyricisms or might possibly be explained from alternative reasonings and I've come up with a few. One, sometimes my ups and downs are best described by rhythmic presentations and you know what, fuck some and add all to the times because those wise some to inspiring motivations because we all know how many it takes to tango, too. I only write my poetry in pencil, so I always have the option of erasing my frowns, and every time I buy a pen and make that commitment, it always runs out. Like how my dedication disintegrates into the corners of classrooms and hallways, speaking these spoken sentences that never seem to satisfy my rational intentions, I've got a room full of worn down erasers. Three. To the girl wandering around my most recent memories, I see you. And it causes me to think of uncommon vernacular and vocally pleasing phrases. Not to turn recent into present, but to push your recent decisions into my past tenses because I was good to you. And four, that I got my simile and smile back in this poem five. I've been told that I'm good at coming up with metaphors. And maybe that's because it's easy for me to come up with some catchy, comparable shit rather than identifying and analyzing my actual six. I've also been told that my metaphors are like awkward smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Super sad. I know, right? Eight, I skipped seven because it's my favorite number and somehow it reminds me of how I used to think of you. Nine, my life is like a poem because ten, I feel like I'm trapped inside a perpetual analogy and I can only hold my breath for about eleven. Seconds is how long it took for me to fall for you and even my poetry wasn't good enough to you. Twelve, and even though you told me it was the sweetest thing, I want to thank you for inspiring. Shit. Because my poem, it walks on the air without formal guidance, playing on swing sets and setting suns, full of life, hoping to dance on the tips of eardrums and tongues, but at the end of the night, it'll go to bed with me, because it's my life and not your poetry.